So let's get to these comets and talk about what they're really made of, okay? Because we're not really seeing the comet itself when we see these bright comets. The heart of a comet, instead of looking like this big, 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 big streak across the sky, really looks more like this. This is the nucleus of Comet Wild 2. And in order to see it, you can't see it with, uh, just up in the sky. You actually have to go there. All right? This is the only times we've been able to see the nucleuses of Comet is when we have a space mission that travels to them. Here's another one. This is Comet Hartley 2, the nucleus of Comet Hartley 2. Right? It looks a bit like a bowling pin. And then we've also got another bowling pin, Comet Borley. Uh, I actually can call, these are actually very well known simply because there are only five comet nuclei that we've seen up close. That's it, five of them, and they're all here uh, to scale. Uh, we've got uh, Borley, Wild 2, and Hartley 2. We've also got Halley and Temple 1, which I will talk about both in just a few minutes. The point of this slide here is, however, to give you a scale of these objects. They are only a few miles across. The largest of comet nuclei are probably tens of miles across, not, not, not very large. So a comet in, its, in itself is really a relatively small object. And when you look at the shapes of these, well, they look rather similar to another class of objects. On the left is Comet Borley, and on the right is Gaspra, an asteroid. So in shape, at least, comets look a lot like asteroids. Which, of course, begs the question, well, what's the difference between a comet nucleus and an asteroid? Well, the simple thing is that the comet nuclei formed in the outer solar system, so they're mostly ices with a little bit of rock and dust mixed in, actually a lot of dust probably, um, whereas the asteroids formed in the inner solar system, and they're much more rock, and they may have a little bit of ice. So for elementary school kids, we simply say, OK, comets are ice with some rock, Asteroids are rock with some ice. But they are both the flotsam and jetsam, the things left over from the formation of the solar system. So you can see that comets look a lot like asteroids, but did you know that asteroids can also look a lot like comets? Here's a picture of an object called P2010A2. And this type of name is what we give to a comet, something that has a tail. And you can see a wonderful tail along here. But if we zoom into this region, we can see that it doesn't look like a comet because a comet is supposed to have a coma that gets smoothly swept back into a tail. Instead, you've got this sort of X-shaped pattern. What's going on here? This is not a comet. What we believe happened here is the collision of two asteroids. Asteroids collided, and the dust kicked off in that collision then gets swept back and forms this complex pattern here that then gets swept back into this tail. And you think, oh, well, that's just a special exception. No, actually, there are more. And last Thursday, Hubble released this, these two amazing images of an asteroid called P2013 P5, all right, where it's got not one, two, three, four, and not five, they tell me six tails. I can't quite see them all here uh, in these images. It's got six tails going off around it. And we have never seen anything like it. We truly don't actually understand exactly what's going on here. I'm gonna have to say if you want more information, go to the press release on, on Hubble site to see more about it. But it underscores the idea that these tails that are, we always associate with comets, we can also show, so associate them a little bit with asteroids.